I've had the opportunity to see CYO in a lot of different ways. Number one, I was a participant, uh, and then later became a uh, parent of participants, and then later became involved in the leadership of, of CYO. So I've seen it from a lot of different angles. And I would say that um, I don't know that you, could, you can really fully appreciate it until you see the, the eyes of your own children, the eyes of your grandchildren, uh, and, and the opportunities that are afforded them through CYO. The organization, 1939, CYO Camp Rancho Massa in 1946, and since then, CYO has been on a fast track. I think what makes CYO for the Archdiocese of Indianapolis unique is that we have uh, eight sports for boys, eight sports for girls. We also offer year-round camp opportunities as well as enrichment activities. Uh, I've learned that only a, a handful of CYOs across the country actually offer as many things we do. I believe what makes us uh, stand out really is uh, our commitment to our mission. Our number one job, we believe, uh, across all of CYO is to help the young people we serve get to heaven. Uh, and as we think about it, is there uh, really anything more significant we could do than that? We have um, a pretty unique thing here, and you realize that when you um, go on with your life and engage with people from around the country. What we've built uh, with our CYO is unique and really the envy uh, of a lot of other peer organizations. I was at a wedding. He was telling me how with his kids, he's just shaking his head. He's just like, oh my gosh, I use so much of what I learned at camp to redirect my kids in activities, to be centered on my kids when they're talking to me. Stuff he says I learned at camp. And then he went on to say this. He works in Washington, D.C. in politics and he said, Kevin, he kind of leaned in, he said, like, I use those same skills when I talk to congressmen, too. So in that way, I look at that, it's like, you know, look at that. We're really changing the world. CYO Camp is affecting the world in places outside of the beautiful 297 acres that we have here at CYO Camp. Uh, I'm, I'm always a big advocate for CYO sports. I know I had a great time playing those sports, and um, I think it's one of the most pure forms of extracurricular activities in, in a grade school level. I mean, I, know, I think people get into it for the right reasons. I think coaches coach for the right reasons for, for the kids and kids are playing to have fun, uh, have a good time. And, and I implore people to, to volunteer as well, not just uh, have your kids play the sports, but volunteer to coach and even volunteer to ref. I know there's a shortage of refs out there. And yes, winning's important, but it's about building your character, it's about growing in virtue, it's about leading with your faith first. And that's why I'm so passionate about CYO because I think that it really teaches us and forces us to keep our priorities in order. It's not win at all costs. It's about things like getting to heaven first, about being a good teammate, doing the right thing, growing in virtue. And that's the stuff that really matters in life. I think the most important thing that participants take away from the CYO programs is the experience of being loved and cared for by other Christian adults. Kids need that. Kids need to know they're valued. And our CYO leaders do a good job of caring for and loving the kids whom they serve. Otherwise, they wouldn't be putting in the time. We teach our staff to live like St. John Bosco, to like really play with the kids and to learn through play to be Christ-like in all that they do. You know, as a family, we went to church every week, so they had, they had a, a pretty strong faith life growing up. But I think, you know, saying prayers before practice, after practice games, etc., being able to pray with teammates, uh, they benefited from. You know, you just can't do that in other venues and other leagues that you play in. I would say our number one job as coaches or as parents is to get our kids to heaven. And what better way than to help your kid grow in faith and get closer to God and closer to Jesus than through sports. I think kids love sports. I love sports. It's not always the most exciting thing for a 10 year old boy to go sit in mass for an hour, but you cannot be out here at practice and you're praying and you're learning about virtues and you're growing in your faith and your community together. And I think that's why, you know, to me, that's the most important thing. And the thing that differentiates CYO from just your normal kind of public school, you know, youth sports program. I do it because of the experience I had and the experience that I know that others are going to have and that's going to influence their lives the way it has influenced mine. All these things that we want them to be armed with as they go from being young Catholic boys and girls to becoming great Catholic men and women and eventually on to becoming saints. Just a, a great opportunity for them to, to live out those traits, those ideals and practice them. At CYO Camp, one of our core values is being inclusive. Our inclusive core value leads us in all of our programming. 
which is important because it welcomes all different types of people, no matter what their abilities are, their faith, their race, their socioeconomic background, or simply who they are as a person. We strive to ensure that everyone feels welcomed, included, and valued at CYO camp. In a world where, uh, quite candidly, sometimes it's difficult to have uh, our kids stay engaged in faith, CYO is one way to do it, and it's a way that if you do give, it really helps and makes an impact. The number is staggering how many people. You think of all the generations that have come through CYO sports. The problem now is with rising costs, we all feel it. We know there's um, things get more pricey every day. We need to bridge the gap between what our affordable fees for playing sports and for camp. We need to make sure that we bridge that gap so that everybody who wants to go can go to camp or to play sports. I think it's very important for others to support CYO because CYO serves such a diverse population of kids. And a lot of those kids do not come from affluent families with lots of means. So the contributions people provide to CYO enables many more people to participate and afford to participate. Therefore, giving more children an opportunity to enjoy the values that CYO and CYO Camp provides. Thank you for watching this video about our CYO story. On behalf of all of us at CYO and CYO Camp, please know how much your kindness and generosity is appreciated. We truly could not carry out our mission of helping the young people we serve get to heaven without your support. Please prayerfully consider partnering with us once again. Your donation is appreciated more than you know. May God bless you always for your generosity. Thank you.